hi guys welcome to another video it's the girl here thanks for coming as always for the subscribers thank you so much for your time i always appreciate it today's video is something that has been happening for quite some time and i think i'm going to do like a separate video after this video because what has been going on right now in africa is is crazy we have this incident that actually happened in south africa uh, first it was the chidima situation and then now we have the farmer situation where two african black south african women were you know taken down by these farmers hi i'm south african of course i care more about my south africa pageant and representation than i do when a white farmer murders two black women and feeds them to the pigs i become real silent when those things happen the story is insane but I want you to know and remember how white South Africans have been trying to get on the internet and make it seem like white farmers are being unalived in South Africa by black people. Black people like, oh, it's a G-side in South Africa. Remember when they've been saying that for years? This is what we know, okay? This is what we know. White farmers in South Africa are not what everybody thinks uh, uh, that they are. And they're the only people who believe that they're special, by the way. They think they're the only people who farm. But we know all about them. We know the sexual scandals, the rape, the incest, everything that is happening in those communities. But somehow when it comes to the media and they would try to communicate with Donald Trump in the United States, they'll be screaming, black people are killing white farmers. This is insane. And it's really sad to see that the pressure that was put on Miss South Africa where Chidima was in, it was so much loud that you could hear it from every angle. And then you see the situation and there's like total silence. And I'm like, so we Africans are really at this point in time, or let's say, so South Africans are also at this point in time where if it's concerning black people to black people, then there's a big fuss, there's a big like uh, chaos that has to come out. There's like a big... Uh, how should I put it right, guys? There's this hate that has to be put out. But then when it comes to, like, what these people did, then it's it's very okay. Because you cannot compare, like, a pageant to people's lives. Like, a pageant is just a crown, right? It is a crown. The black women were literally human beings that had life, that had families. And they lost their lives. And they, they were taken by this group of farmers, these groups of people white South African, and not to generalize that they are all evil, but like, it did come from them, and they did it to black women, black South Africans. There's a lot of people that are calling out us as a people on how we African people treat uh, foreigners in Africa. I mean, guys, I've experienced it, like, firsthand, because I go to different places in my country. I like to go to nice places, and when you go to those places, guys... <laughs> It's wild how I'm treated when I am by myself or when I speak a certain way or when I come with different, like, different shades of people. So I get in these places and I'm like, so we as Africans hate ourselves that even in restaurants, in, like, malls, in, like, shopping places, in, like, clubs as well, when they see a person that looks like me, they ask for a lot of information. When a person like this comes... It's just like a red carpet for them. They don't have to ask for a lot of things. They don't have to present a lot of documents. They don't have to, like, present anything. They, they just have to go and enter. Because, I mean, yeah, it's investors, right? I mean, every, this person has money, right? So I'm like, why can't we reach a point where we can see ourselves as equal to these groups of people and have some bit of respect to ourselves? And this is not even about hate, really. I don't know why people come and say that I talk about hate and I'm like, really, am I talking about hate or I'm talking about things that literally happened from a specific group of people towards a specific group of people? Because if I'm creating hate, I'm just coming and saying things that didn't happen but these things happen and we experience them. Even a person like Majimbo, who is like really like now a celebrity, who also came out and she was like, the way we African people treat other groups of people in our countries of Africa is ridiculously crazy. And we need to get away from that mindset. Africans in Africa, you treat white people better than you do Africans and you need to stop that shit. It is such a disgusting behavior. I hate, hate the special treatment white people get in Africa. Like literally us kisses the lot of you i remember this one time in cape town i wanted to like get a table at a restaurant and my friend was like oh remember to use your your white voice so that they don't tell you that the place is booked out 
sorry i have been to places other club literally there's a line a line of black people africans a white person pops up they're let into the club literally it happens all the time at restaurants they're given the first tables like africans are more kind more welcoming more understanding when it comes to them not and it's not just even white people anyone who's not african but especially white people are they god i'm so confused so many of you are traumatized from colonization stop stop it and this is why i love how malema really stands on and uh pushes uh the example of nigerians because like nigerians are so bold and that's why the world really don't like them i've talked about this a couple of times a lot of times like nigerians are seen and given a bad name because they are the only group of people in africa that really stand up for themselves that want good things and actually go for them that are not afraid to speak their mind most of us in other African countries don't have that. I mean, if you come to East Africa, we are people pleasers, which is crazy. Like, it's not helping us in any way. And then when it comes with colonization and then the mental colonization as well, and then you look into the education where we are taught to be like servants, we are taught to be like less than, we are taught to be uh, inferior. It, it gets worse. It gets worse. So Nigeria is really the biggest example I can really give. And that's why Malema really comes out strong for them and says that we other African people should learn from these people. They don't take like things lightly. If you do something to a Nigerian, they're going to come to you like, what are you talking about? Uh, what do you mean? And this is what this guy had to say. One thing I like about Nigerians is not about these things that you accuse them about. A Nigerian man, if he comes in here and speak, you won't doubt that this man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. That's why in Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people. Because when you speak to them and they don't hear properly, yes, yes. Ah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? And then you think he's fighting. Like, no, he wants to understand. What, he's not fighting. But you, they taught you that if you don't hear, sorry, sir, can you repeat that? So they enjoy that. They enjoy this submissive attitude of a black man because to them you are boys and girls. They don't enjoy a person who speaks standing firm, looking right into their eyes and unshaken. That's what we should be. We must be, and that thing comes out of liberating the mind. But if the mind becomes permanent weapon at the disposal of the oppressor, you will never do anything. You will continue to think less of yourself. We, we, you ought to liberate yourself. You cannot be EFF and still be sheepish. Once you join the EFF, it's a first step of mental liberation. That I am not my ancestor. I am a generation now which will never take what my ancestors took from you. I will never tolerate that. So, they don't hate Malema. They are all shocked by this black man who can speak to them like that. Who can speak like that? Who can confront them like that? Because all blacks must be submissive. And when they paralyze you, they even come and then patronize you. That no, you are better than them. Those of you who even speak in that accent of theirs, yo, you even speak better than them. Well, I always get shocked that you say you don't want these colonial people, you want to be African, but you speak like Sir Ramaphos. You can't speak like a person that you hate. You can't. You can't say, I hate these white people. They've oppressed us. They took everything from us. And then from there, you want to speak like them. Only in South Africa do we do that. You can go anywhere in the continent, including Zimbabwe, where they are educated better than us. They've got no accent. They've got Zimbabwean accent. They don't have this thing of yours. Because they've never seen themselves in the image of a white man. They saw themselves in the image of an African man and accepted education as a form of liberation, not as a way of mimicking the colonialist and the imperialist. 
Because some of you confuse being educated to be meaning, I must talk like these white people. Otherwise, I am not educated. So, when we speak about a liberated man, it's a man who knows who she is and who he is. But once you've got a doubt about yourself, you will never liberate anyone. Because you are not liberated yourself. We need to decolonize, like seriously, and it should not come from a place of hate. I think decolonization is just really understanding the history that really happened and also getting to know what needs to be done to change what maybe happened in the past to make it better. So when I say that we Africans need to love ourselves, it's not to hate other groups of people. It's literally to believe in ourselves that we are better as well. We are strong enough. We are smart. We are beautiful. We are all these things. And also like we should see other groups of people like they are equal to us and not like just kneel down to them you know like that's where i have issues like i mean why let a foreigner just be free in your country and not let your fellow african people your fellow country mates to enjoy the things in their own country in your country of africa that's where i'm like ah we need a lot of growth as a people and i mean i don't even know how it's gonna happen but like it starts with everyone. It should be a collective thing. It really should. Just like we saw how South Africa was so much hateful towards Chidima in the pageant of Miss South Africa. But then when it came to the lives of the black women that were taken down by a white South African and literally fed, like the bodies were fed to the pigs. People are quiet. I saw the comments on mo most of the videos about this situation. And there's no noise. Like, people are saying, oh, the police is involved, so it's fine. Uh, uh, oh, the, the, the government is going to take care of it. But when it came to Chidima, a black woman contesting in South Africa where there is majority of black people, shoots. It, if it meant, like, getting on the street and really taking down lives, it would. It reached at a point where it had to even involve, like, this nation to, like, attack themselves through apps, like, boat. That's wild. That's really wild, and it shows where we stand as a people. We always misplace our anger to the wrong places, to the wrong situations. And I'm like, are we really okay? Like, I always ask ourselves, I always ask you guys, do we Africans eat the same food? Do we eat the same food that is from the ground? Are we a people that were created by a same, a same creator? Like, do we really feed on the same things that other people feed on? Because the way we act, the way we act towards ourselves, the hate we have towards ourselves is insane. It's insane and I just can't stand it. I really can't stand it. But yeah, guys, that is it for me in the video. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think Malema and what, you know, the people were saying in the video makes sense? I mean, I think it does. We need to love ourselves. We need to love ourselves. Guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm always posting. Yeah, thanks for the super chats and the members. I will see you in the next video. Bye.